All right, guys, speaking on cardio and fat loss, um, I never did very much high-intensity cardio. I did a lot of low-intensity cardio. If you wanted to ask me about fat loss and cardio, I would say walking, um, walking in a fasted state, walking after, right after your workout, or just generally anything low-intense right after your workout. And um, what you want to do is you want to build it up over time. Um, if you're losing weight without doing cardio, you can keep losing weight without doing cardio, but when that slows, Maybe add in, you know, 20 or 30 minutes of walking right when you wake up on an empty stomach. Maybe have coffee or stimulant or something, but no food. And um, then as, you know, as that slows down, as you stop losing weight from doing that, maybe up it to 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. And as that slows down, maybe add in, you know, a 20, 30 minute session after training. As that slows down, I mean, you can work your way up. I think about as high as you want to go is about an hour in the morning and like an hour at some other time during the day. So about two hours of cardio a day is about as high as I've ever gone. Well, I've, I've gone three hours a day, but I, it's kind of miserable. It's kind of like all you do with your day, just about, like it's, it's shitty. But um, about two hours a day is about as much as I'd recommend. And you have to build up to that over time. Like um, you want to give each type of cardio, the 20 minutes in the morning and then 30 minutes in the morning and 45 minutes in the morning, each one of those stages, you want to give it some time. So say a few weeks to maybe even a month, maybe even a few months if you're losing weight doing that. There's no reason to change. So basically, if you're losing weight, don't change shit. If you're going to change something, change something small so you can manipulate it and keep changing more shit over time to reach your goals. Because oftentimes you're going to have to keep going through stages to get down to as lean as you want to be, especially if you've had to lose a lot of weight. You're going to stall out a number of times most likely, and then you're going to have to do something else. So you don't want to jump right to the most severe diet and most hardcore cardio regimen because then when you stop losing weight from doing cardio that way and eating that way where do you go from there you just take a bunch of stimulants or something that don't even hardly do shit no you just kind of fucked at that point you probably have to eat more for a while and like bring your metabolism back up to speed for a little bit otherwise you just won't even be able to keep losing weight it's the weirdest thing to weigh a lot and be eating nothing and still not be able to lose weight crazy um, so there's my tips on cardio, guys, for fat loss. Um, obviously, high-intensity cardio will burn fat. Um, if you're looking for high-intensity cardio, I would just do, like, high-rep weight training, honestly. I think shit like sprints and, um, you know, that kind of stuff, it's okay. But um, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, especially shit like, which isn't necessarily high-intensity, but, like, jogging. Stuff like that, I, I think that's bad for um, maintaining muscle while cutting. And I've been told that by so many people. And I've actually noticed I've lost some muscle and shit from, from doing too much cardio in the past and running around and shit like that. Not that I ever did much running. But there's my take on cardio, guys. There's what I recommend. There's what I would do. I think walking is probably the best form of cardio you can do for fat loss. I don't think it tears out muscle at all. Um, so there you go, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and stuff like that.